What up to here we're doing a screen comparison with a homemade screen that's made out of a roller blind, an ivory colored screen, and we have a paid screen that's 1.41 ratio. So this is ambient white against our ivory roller blind and I do have a shower curtain screen that I'll show you after this comparison but just look how good the shower curtain and um, the roller blind screen really is that's unbelievable I will show you how I've made it after I let you see more of the video also and these are all done on the T10 projector both screens the shower screen also which we'll show in a second but if you look at the quality on the roller blind it's fantastic it's a hundred inch i just made the frame and then attached it in with um, drawing pins and added my own border with uh, a shine bright black tape which i'll show you also so I've done some of the video, but you can see how vibrant the colors are. And then when I look at the screen I paid for, I'm like, wow, its screen looks better. You can see what I mean here. Well, the focus on the ambient screen is slightly better, you can see, but in some parts of the video, the roller blind looks fantastic, man. So if you're looking for a cheap option to make a screen, you could quite easily make one out of a roller blind or a shower curtain screen, like I will show you soon. But that is absolutely phenomenal for a shower curtain screen. I'll now let you see behind the screen how I made it. And here's the screen itself when it's down. As you can see, I've just stretched the roller blind screen the cloth. I cut it off the pole and pinned it in on the top of the frame that I made. And just simple screws with one joist in the middle of the frame. And I had some overlap, so I just used it to make it a little more ambient I would normally paint this side black so the screen works better but I can't believe how good the, the screen is working and on the sides I've just used this is the tape I used to make it's got a nice shine to it the border on the screen itself and you can see that was pinned in also and then the tape actually covers the pin, so you can't see anything. The only thing you can see when it's not against the wall is the one bit of wood that's joisting it all together. But I could take that out, but uh, it gives it a lot more support. But now I'll show you the shower curtain screen that I made too. And here we have the T10 again, as you can see the T10 with a shower curtain screen. This is with a light on, by the way. And this was a 90 inch screen. I done the same thing. I put the wooden frame together, then pinned in the shower curtain screen, but then I put trash bags on the back to keep it ambient and painted the screen itself with a matte white non shine finish paint. And this is the picture I got. And this screen didn't even cost me $8 to make. And that's incredibly good screen. That's with the light on, so with the light off. Now you can see how fantastic that screen does look. So this is my bedtime screen, if you like. But just look at that video. A shower curtain that's painted with white, white matte finished paint. You must admit that is absolutely phenomenal. 
I would even recommend making the roller blind screen. It's fantastic. But I did think the shower curtain screen was very, very much like the ambient white screen that I purchased. So the quality is very similar when they're put beside each other. But a shower curtain screen, guys. Very easy to make. Less than ten dollars, and this is what you get. Anyway, back to the big screen. Now we're just on the plain ambient 1.41 ratio screen that I purchased. But as you can see with the three screens I just used, all of them are usable. Two of them are very easy to make, very cheap way of not using your wall for the projector. So that's all for me guys, peace out.